hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so in today's video i am doing some aquarium nail tips i'm making the aquarium nail tips from scratch so i am using my 3xl full covered square nails to do this nail design so i did pick out my nail sizes off camera and right here i'm just going to be measuring where i want my aquarium tank to start because you have to leave room for your nail bed and also just that little piece of skin above the nail right there you have to leave room for that so that's what i'm doing there and i'm marking off wherever i need my aquarium nail to start so this nail design was really interesting to do i really love how it came out so y'all will let me know what you guys think about it when y'all see the whole process it's an easy process but it's a lot of work however the best thing about this is the fact that you don't have the nails on your fingers so you can take as long as you would like to do these nails i think i took about two to three days because i didn't want to do the nails in one sitting so i decided to space it out a bit but we'll get to that later on i will explain everything so moving on i am going to be using my mccart rhinestone glue you don't have to use rhinestone glue you could use poly gel or builder gel and i'm using a nail form and i'm just going to be evenly distributing this in a square shape on the nail form and it needs to be thin very thin and i just evenly distribute that and cured it for 30 seconds and then i use some rubbing alcohol to wipe off the tackiness And this is how it looks it's just a basic square gel I guess and it's uh, really thin so I did go ahead and do one of the tanks off camera this is a pinky nail right here so I'm just showing you guys from all angles how this aquarium nail tank looks right now this is the pinky nail by the way and I'm just removing the markings that I did earlier. I'm using rubbing alcohol to remove it. So I just wanted you all to see that it is possible to do right here. I know you all probably would have been skeptical. But this is my proof. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did it. So this piece of gel that I cured earlier. This is what I'm going to be using to get the base of my tank. So I'm just going to be cutting that into a kind of triangular shape it doesn't need to have a point per se but it can as you can see here it has a mini point but it could be rounded it really doesn't matter so i'm cutting a triangle and it is the same width of the nail tip you need to measure it towards the nail tip first just to get a rough average of how it would look and that point that you're seeing there at the tip the of the triangle you have to like fold it in a bit so that uh, it falls in to the nail tip i hope i'm making sense so yes it has to fold in a bit and then i am going to be using some of the rhinestone glue and just placing it right where i wanted the nail the aquarium tanks the aquarium tank to start and i'm also using my mini nail lamp and i just uh, apply the triangular base that i cut make sure that it's stuck at the base and i cure it the mini nail lamp is in my mouth while i'm curing it and i just apply some pressure so that it cures really well and this is practically the base of my aquarium tank i'm just showing a side profile and just showing you all how it looks and we are still not done yet because it was a triangle base that i did and these nail tips are half a circles so you have to make sure to use the rhinestone glue just to seal all those areas around because you don't want any leakage so you make sure to seal it with the rhinestone glue and you know just use your brush to distribute the gel and then you cure it for 
a few seconds with your mini nail lamp and then in the bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds and this is how it looks i made sure to use a q-tip that was dipped in rubbing alcohol to remove the stickiness always remove the stickiness when you are doing an aquarium nail because in the end you need to place glitters in the tank and you don't want the glitters to be stuck to anywhere on the tank you need it to be moving so always use rubbing alcohol to remove the sticky layer so yes this is how it looks and i just showed you guys on how it looks on my nail and it looks really good and i just cut the excess of the base area and then i'm filing it so that it is flush with the nail tip So you all cannot see anything right there when I show a side profile and a bird's eye view. And I just use rubbing alcohol again. Always just use rubbing alcohol all the time. Just remove the tacky layer, remove the dust, etc. And yeah, this is step one of creating my aquarium nail. And it's so easy. Oh my goodness. I really enjoyed doing this aquarium nail set. One of my faves. So again, I'm using my nail form and I just measured, I wanted this to be longer than the aquarium nail tank. So I just measured it and made sure that it was longer than the nail and I'm just squeezing the rhinestone glue to the shape that I want, which is a rectangular shape. And the hardest part about this design was squeezing the rhinestone glue out of this tube because it was very difficult to squeeze out and i wanted a good bit of the gel so i needed to squeeze a lot so that was a lot so anyway i'm just distributing the gel on the nail form into the shape that i want making sure that this layer is Thin, and when I'm satisfied with how it looks, I would cure that for 30 seconds. And this is how it looks, but we are not going to be removing it now. I am using rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer again. And this is the back of my aquarium tank. So I just measured it just to make sure that it looked good. And it was a bit higher than my actual nail. And it could fit well and stuff like that. Now I'm going to be using the rhinestone glue at the edges of the nail. You could do it on the dual form right there but i wanted it to be precise so that's why i'm doing it on the edges of the nail if i had done it on the tin piece of gel on the nail form there it would not have been precise and then i would have had some gel product inside of the tank where i really didn't want it to be and stuff like that so it's best to just apply to the nail tip first and then apply the nail tip onto the tin piece of gel product the tin piece of gel on the nail form and then apply pressure and cure with my mini nail lamp for a few seconds and then i cure in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds and then i remove it and this is how it looks so i should have made the back of the tank a bit wider it wasn't as wide as i thought it was there were a bit of spaces in the tank so i am using the rhinestone glue just to fill in those spaces so that when i place my liquid it does not leak out so you have to really scrutinize your aquarium nail tank because there could be spaces or holes in the tank that you're not seeing so you just have to make sure and look at the tank from all angles you need to do that before you place any liquids because you don't want any leakage so yeah i'm just filling in those spaces and then i cure for 30 seconds in my nail lamp And this is how it looks so far.
now i'm just going to be filing the edges so that it looks very neat and crisp and it looks like an aquarium nail tank so yeah i'm just going to be doing that and be careful when doing this there is a possibility that you could create a hole in this tank again so be careful and if you do you could just use the rhinestone glue again just to fill in that space And I just measure it to my nail just to make sure that it looks good and that it fits perfectly and it does so as you can see it fits really good look at it from that side yeah oh and I noticed a hole right there that I pointed to so I am using the rhinestone glue to fill in that space And then I flash guard that. Now I'm going to be doing the thumb. I just wanted to show you guys on two nails. So I'm just going to let this part play out because I think I explained everything. However, I'm going into more details on why I think doing the whole aquarium nail set on your nails it's a bit too time consuming so i prefer the aquarium nail tips that i'm doing right here because you have a lot of time you can there's no pressure to complete the nails as compared to doing your regular aquarium nails on your nails one time there's no pressure because you have a lot of time in order to create it i think i created this in two to three days and i just went at my own pace however when the nail tips are on your nails you have to complete the nail design you can't really keep on incomplete nails on your nails so that is why i prefer the aquarium nail tips as opposed to the regular aquarium nails if that makes sense i hope i'm explaining it correctly but i think y'all will get me so yes and it's so easy to do and I, I just love how it looked i don't know how else to say it but this is really like such a good thing just doing your own aquarium nail tips so y'all will let me know what you guys think about this aquarium nails let me know if you all want me to do some more aquarium nail tips because i have so many ideas right now oh my goodness i think i'm going to do it regardless of if y'all like it or not to be honest but I just love it. I love how this aquarium nail tip design came out. So yeah. And some of y'all might be wondering why I didn't use poly gel instead of this rhinestone glue. Well, the reason for that is because poly gel has a thicker consistency and I wanted this to be easy on me. So the fact that the rhinestone glue is very liquidy, it would create a thinner gel as compared to poly gel. As you all saw before, I wanted a thin base for the aquarium tank. I got it easily because I was using liquid. If I were using the poly gel, I would not have gotten it as easy. Poly gel is thicker and it's more on the solid side. So to get it really thin would have been difficult and I wanted to save myself the trouble. But it is possible with poly gel. I'm just going to let this part play out and I'll be back shortly. 
and by the way if you all have reached this far in the video don't forget to hit the like button below and comment your thoughts on the design as well and don't forget to subscribe and I also I'm really sorry that this video is so long I tried my best to reduce this video but I wanted this video to be detailed I wanted you all to see everything that I'm doing and how I'm doing it and why I'm doing it so I can really do that in a shorter video and I also needed this video to be in quote unquote real time it's not really in real time it is sped up a bit but the important parts are not sped up as much I couldn't do any of this video in real time so some of the video is sped up just a little bit and then some of it is sped up a lot but I could not have showed you guys this video in total real time because this video would have been two hours long and we really cannot be here sitting for two hours watching a video so I tried my best so I'm sorry about that but I needed this video to be really detailed so that you all can see it for yourselves how it looks what I did and everything like that and I know I'm talking a lot so yeah I'm just gonna let this part play out and I'll be back shortly So right here I'm just looking to see if there are any holes in the aquarium tank but I don't think there's any more and now I'm just going to be filing the nail just to get that crisp shape. So this is after completing all of my aquarium tanks. So I'm just going to be showing you guys a 360 view of the nail. Just wanted you guys to see how the nail looks from all angles. And I did complete the pinky nail off camera. I didn't want to apply too much glitters to the pinky nail because the pinky nail is already small. So applying too much glitters would mean that the glitters would not move. They would get stuck because they were getting stuck right here. So it meant that it would be even worse if I placed too many glitters. So that's why I only placed a few glitters in this nail. So this nail was kind of like the basic nail because the rest of the nails looked way better than this but I just wanted you all to see how it looked and how I achieved it you know so I'm going to be showing you guys how I place the glitters in my aquarium tank some of them I think I placed too much I went a little glitter happy and placed way too much glitters in the tank so some of them got stuck in the tank so I need to figure out what is my ratio but this green glitter right there I would highly recommend not using that that is more of a flaky glitter it's kind of long it's not those short glitters I don't know how to call it what to call it 
but don't use that glitter because i tried it and it just got stuck and nothing was moving it made all of the glitter stick to one area of the nail and it just was not moving so i had to redo i did it on the pinky nail i should not have done it on the pinky nail but i did it so i decided not to use it to do these nails so these are all of the glitters and caviar beads and stuff like that i'm using inside of my aquarium nails one thing about these pinkish purplish caviar beads they bleed a lot so when i was finished with these nails they were not pink they were silver so they bled out in my aquarium so that was a bit disappointing i really thought it would have held up but it did not so i would suggest just using silver caviar beads and gold caviar beads because i think those would not bleed well i know those will not bleed because i did use the gold caviar beads in this aquarium nails and they turned out really good and also one of those glitters was bleeding as well i don't know which one of the pink glitters were bleeding but one of them were and it messed up the design low key because they started to bleed into into the aquarium nail so it started to look really pink which was very disappointing but i would show you guys how i rectify that situation so hopefully you are not able to really tell that something was bleeding in the aquarium nails so yeah i'm just filling up my tank right here with all of these glitters rhinestones and stuff like that this was my favorite part of this aquarium nail tip just going glitter happy going caviar beads happy going all happy about applying these items into my aquarium nail i think i did too much though because i don't know sometimes the glitters would be stuck to one area of the nail and i try my best to move them and it just wasn't moving so i have to get that ratio of how much to put i don't think i would ever get that ratio because every time i see glitter i just want to place them in the aquarium so i don't know so yeah i'm just gonna be applying all of the glitters and uh, yeah i'm just gonna let this part play out so that y'all can see So I'm just using my dampen dish as a stand to hold my aquarium nail tip and I decided to use these glitters as well in my aquarium nail. I don't know why but you know I just love it. I just decided to just go glitter happy as I said before so I decided to use these as well in my aquarium nails. and i made a mess had to be me i'm so clumsy sometimes <laughs> so now i'm going to be filling my tank this is a coconut oil and what i placed in that other dampen dish is some rubbing alcohol and i had to make sure that i had my q-tip handy and this is the thing that i used to suction out the coconut oil 
and i'm going to be dripping that into my aquarium nail tank and when you're dripping the coconut oil into the aquarium tank sometimes you get that bubble at the top where you are going to be placing the the liquid so you have to drip especially when you're using such a large applicator you have to drip the coconut oil into the aquarium if you continue to do a continuous drip then all of it would not go into the aquarium tank because there is this bubble that forms at the top and then it bursts but sometimes i pop it because it takes long to burst sometimes as you all saw there so you have to drip once you have to do one drip of the coconut oil and then wait for the bubble to burst before you drip another one it's kind of weird but i've noticed that is how it happens not all the time but a lot of the times and I really cannot explain it. And when I'm finished with applying the liquid to the aquarium tank, I'm using my Q-tip that I dipped in rubbing alcohol just to clean that area of the aquarium tank because we are going to be applying poly gel and poly gel and oil really don't mix and we want to ensure that the poly gel cures correctly now i'm using my clear poly gel from model ones and i'm using this poly gel to seal my tank so that it doesn't leak and all of the liquid stays inside also if you'd like to purchase anything from model ones website you can use my code it will be listed in the description below and also on the screen And I cured that for 30 seconds so this is how it looks I had to use my cuticle pusher to move around the glitters because some of the glitters was just was not moving so I had to do that because after all that hard work and the glitters do not move excuse me so yes I had to use the cuticle pusher I had to beat those glitters to move so yes and I think and as you all can see the glitters are moving and stuff it looks really nice let me know what you guys think please because i really love how this nail design turned out i hope you all like it too so on to another nail i'm just going to be showing you guys i'm basically doing the same thing but i want you all to see it again you know so i'm just gonna let this part play out and i'll be back when i am going to be filing the nails and doing my design on the nails and stuff so yeah don't forget to hit the like button below comment and subscribe So on this nail, I tried to apply less glitters just to make sure that the glitters actually move this time. I think I achieved that. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys how I drip the coconut oil into the nail tank. 
the aquarium nail tank. So you have to stop there to make sure that the bubble bursts before placing any more of the coconut oil. So I burst the bubble there because it was taking way too long. If I had continued to apply coconut oil, it would not have gotten into the tank. It would have gotten all over the nail and on my paper towel and stuff like that. Then I'm using, then I dip my Q-tip in rubbing alcohol just to remove any of the oil from that tip area. Then I'm going to be applying my clear poly gel to the tip to cover the hole. So this is another great thing about doing aquarium nail tips. You can just place the nail tip in a holder. You don't have to awkwardly be having your hand in some weird position so that the liquid doesn't leak out, you know. So now I'm just using rubbing alcohol just to wipe off all of the coconut oil from the nail and guys look at it, look at it. It moves so much better although I had to tap it a bit but it moves a lot better than the other nail that I did. I look so good oh my goodness lovely. So this is how the thumbnail looks. I'm just using rubbing alcohol to remove all of the oil from on the nail. And I'm just going to be showing you guys how the glitters move in this nail. The thumbnail is always the better nail to do aquarium nails on because it's a larger nail so the glitters would move a lot better. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys that looks so good. Oh my goodness. So this is how all of the nails look when I'm finished with applying the glitters inside of the aquarium nail tanks. Now I'm just going to be cutting off the excess tip right there with my clippers and then I'm just going to be filing the free edge so that it is straight and crisp. Be careful when doing this, you don't want to create a hole in the nail which would lead to leaking of my aquarium tank. It didn't happen but be careful when doing it because there is a high possibility that it could happen and I'm not being that aggressive. It's just the fact that I sped up this video a lot so it looks like I'm being really aggressive but I'm being very careful when doing it. So this is the next day and as you can see in the back there, one of the colors were bleeding. One of the glitters or one of something, it was bleeding a lot. That was so disappointing. And this is one thing I couldn't predict because you never know which of the glitters could be bleeding. You would never know. So I'm going to be using these chrome powders here. I wanted to use, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. So these here, I got it in my Colorful July sub box, I think. Or Colorful July box. I don't know what it's called. I think it was an aquarium box. 
and that small one right there i got that in a set i got that from amazon a few years ago i decided to use that one so what i'm going to be doing is applying some of that chrome powder onto the back of all of the aquarium nails so i apply a layer of gel top coat first because it needs something to attach to it cannot just attach to nothing so it needs to attach so it needs to attach to some gel so i place the gel top coat and cured it for 30 seconds then i rub the chrome powder on the back of the aquarium tank and then i placed some more gel top coat to seal in the chrome powder and i cured that for 30 seconds i did the same thing for this nail so i'm just showing you guys how the glitter or probably the caviar beads were bleeding in the aquarium tank and i did the rest of the nails off camera now I'm just going to be placing the aquarium nail tips onto my nails. So I'm just cleaning inside of the nail tip right there. And then I placed a bead of clear poly gel and I just distributed a little, nothing much. Then I placed it on my nail tip and cured that for 30 seconds. Well, okay. I cured it in my uh, Melody Susie nail lamp for 5 to 10 seconds I think and then I cured it in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds when I was finished with all of the nails. So this is how the nails are looking on my nails. They look really good, they look a bit basic to be honest but they look okay. And they move so i'm going to be using cafe which is this nude poly gel from mccart i'm going to be using that at the nail bed area because the nail bed area looks a bit basic so we don't want that of course so i'm just going to be applying that to the nail bed area only and curing for 30 seconds i did two layers of that in order to reach full opacity but i only showed myself doing one layer And this is how it looks when I apply the gel polish to all of the nails. And look at the movement of those glitters. Oh my goodness. Now I'm going to be placing these 3D striping tape on the nails. So this is how it looks. So 
So now I'm going to be top coating each of the nails. So I was contemplating whether to show myself top coating all of the nails in real time or to speed it up. I'm not too sure which one I'm going to do. But either way, y'all will see how gorgeous it looks with the gel top coat on. Let me know what you guys think about this whole nail design in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if y'all will want to see more of these aquarium nail tips from me. Because I do not mind doing them. I really love how they look. This method is my favorite. I don't really like the other method because I can take my time when doing it with this method. So I think I would more gravitate to doing aquarium nails like this. Although I do have an aquarium nails that I did with the other method. You will see that one in a few weeks. Let me know what you guys think about that one as well. I have a lot to say about that one but we will leave that for that video <laughs> but yes look how gorgeous oh my goodness oh my goodness so i got these uh, semicircle nail accessories in one of my mccart sub boxes i really love them i think i need to purchase some more because they look so good they make any design look really good so yeah i'm going to be using them on the nails as well So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is how it looks. Look at the movement in this thumbnail. Oh my goodness, this thumbnail looks amazing. It's just giving aquarium nail. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm just showing you guys the movement, the bubble moves, the glitter moves, everything moves. It looks good so yeah I'm just gonna be showing you guys the movement and this is how it looks at the tip area it's not too thick I think it's a I think it's an okay thickness for aquarium nails and it looks really neat I love the fact that it looks neat you cannot really tell much it is an aquarium nail because usually aquarium nails are super bulky I really don't like how it looks when it's so bulky this one looks really good so yeah let me know what you think I'm going to be applying my cuticle oil right now to rehydrate my skin and nails And this is the finished look. We have finally reached the end of this long video. Oh my goodness. Thank God because I was fed up of talking. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. I think it turned out really good and it's such a simple method to doing this aquarium nails and it's so much easier to do because you can take your time when doing it since it's aquarium nail tips and i think it looks really good it is a lot of work but the end result is worth it let me know what you guys think i do have some clips of the aquarium nails with the flash on so if you all would wait around you always see some of that but i had to take pictures and videos in different lighting with different backgrounds because i just love how it looked i needed you all to see it in all backgrounds let me know what you guys think i needed you all to see the movement so you always see me just doing random movements one thing i didn't like the middle nail began to get cloudy i do not understand why it was cloudy because it looked kind of cloudy in some of the clips however when i removed the nails 
like four days later the middle nail was not cloudy so i was kind of confused so i don't know what was happening there so yeah let me know what you guys think and also i think the type of glitters you use in the nail would result in the nail looking cloudy or the nail bleeding or the aquarium nail bleeding so it all depends on that and you really cannot know if a glitter would bleed until you place it in the aquarium nail so you would never really know but it's good to experiment it's really it's really a nice experience doing aquarium nails and seeing how great they can look so yeah I'm talking way too much let me know what you guys think thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one bye guys